You think you're ready for something And you're tired of 
wheel for me, please? Thanks. Shaler. What's your name, Shaler? Randy Captain Blythe, sir. Well, straighten up. You're on duty here, and I run a torch ship. Aye, aye, Captain Blythe, sir. Grab the captain's balls! What are you fools doing? I demand a military bearing in my men. Dower. Captain Jack and his filthy crew left Mexico with yet another load of the demon weed. They'll be within our waters tonight. Every man is to stand prepared. Break out the boats and lower the cannons. Yes, sir. Dismissed. Excuse me. Excuse me, Captain Bly, sir. I love a man in a uniform. So you're just bumming around the country, sleeping in the woods, huh? I prefer to call it traveling light. Where are you crashing at night? Wherever I stop for the night. How about staying with us? I mean, you could spend the night, right, Ginger? Well, we could ask Sarah. I'm sure she'll say it's okay. Uh, I don't want to barge in. Don't sweat it. Sarah's cool. Everything is fine. Love is here. That's Daniels. Oh? The girls gave me a lift. Oh. Oh, I brought in your groceries for you. Thanks. You left them in the car. Oh. Uh, where should I put the ketchup? 
Oh, Sarah. Scott here's tripping around the country, and we thought maybe he'd crash here for tonight. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, you guys, come on! Woo! Ginger, hurry! <laughs> Where did you see the hot tub in Sonic? Come on. Where is it? Hot tub? Woo! Check it out! Wow, this is neat! So cool. Yeah, it's great. Wow, what a place! Oh, look at those waves! I don't know about you guys. I'm not wasting any more time. I gotta hit that beach. <laughs> Me too, I gotta find a man! Yeah, but what am I, Polly? Oh. Sunburn. Are you? <laughs> Harlan, use the stairs. Thanks for helping me put the groceries away. Sure. Whenever there's work to be done, Ginger and Ducky always seem to disappear. <laughs> hey, how about taking a walk on the beach? Sure. Good. different from your friends. Ginger and Ducky? Oh, aren't they beautiful? Yeah, they're okay looking. They're knockouts. They're the most popular girls in the school. <laughs> I can understand that all right. I never would have thought they'd come all the way out here with me, though. Why not? No, well, they could have gone just about anywhere they wanted to. The river, the mountains, where the boys are. I don't know how they could do any better than being here with you. Think that? Absolutely. What a place! What are we waiting for? Let's have a party! Come on, we gotta go in and get ready. We don't have any party goodies. could use a boy or two. <laughs> well, we can get the booze over the phone. But the boys? We can get them the same way. Hey, what's going on? Ginger's gonna order us some boys. How? In the yellow pages. <laughs> Hello, pizza man. Well, hello. Howdy. Uh, pizza. That'll be $7.83. What's on it? Oh, everything, just like you ordered. Pepperoni, onion, green pepper, sausage, anchovy, salami. Is that a salami in your pocket, or are you just glad to see me? It's a salami. Oh, you'll do. Ginger, I'm not sure this is such a good idea. What do you mean? 
We deserve a party. We need a party. I just don't know about this. School's out now. It's time to have some fun, you know? Ginger, I'm just afraid. That... As usual. Oh, Sarah, we're not going to have an orgy. It's just a little party. Okay. But don't get carried away. Hello, Clem's TV. Do you have a repairman you could send out? Is he cute? Carl Perdue? Uh, yes, this is she. 
Uh, yes, right away. Who's Julie? She's my Uncle Carl's fiance. Why? Yes. Miss Carmody, uh, this here is Willie's one stop out of Paradise Beach. Well, someone out at Carl Purdue's place just put in an order, and I... Oh, that's uh... his niece. She's staying out there for the summer. So, uh, why are you bothering me? I tried to get a hold of Mr. Purdue, but he wasn't in his office. He's at a construction site. Look, uh, what's your problem, Mr., uh, Willie? I just thought that, well, it, it's quite a good size order. But if you, you say it's okay, I'm sorry to bother you. Yes, Julie. How are you? Yeah? Okay. Okay, listen, this is the last one. I won't delay any longer. For sure. We get married in September, the 15th, 8 in the morning. Okay, now? Oh, that must be Sarah and her friends. I wouldn't worry about it. They're kids. It's summer. They're allowed to let off some steam. Julie, I'll take care of it. Please, don't press it as soon as I get back. Okay. I love you. Bye-bye. <clears throat> How much trouble can they get into? When I was their age... I got into trouble.
How do you like these pecs? How do you like these bushes? Harlan, it's pointing the wrong way. Uh, what's so interesting over at the Purdue place? Carl Perdue knows anything about it. I'm calling the police. Oh. Why aren't you at the party? Don't seem to like parties that much. Besides, I've been that route. So what's next? What's next? Well, yeah. What are you gonna do? Just bum around the country? Well, I guess I'll try to find something that has meaning to me and then go after it. That could take the rest of your life. Yeah, I guess it can. I don't know. One thing I got is patience. But you can't wait forever. Well, maybe not. But till I figure out what it is I want, I don't have any way to go after it. How about you? Got it all laid out, I bet. Why not? Next fall, I start UCLA pre-law, then a couple years of law school, and maybe join up with a good firm for a couple of years, specialize and... Oh, whoa, whoa, what is that? Eight, ten years there? What if you get that far and find out you don't like being a lawyer? I don't plan to not like being a lawyer. You're programming yourself just like a computer. Well, what's wrong with that? Nothing if you happen to be a computer. You're a real, live human being. So? So follow your impulses once in a while. Be human. Like Ginger and Ducky? No, not like Ginger and Ducky. Like you, I suppose. Well, you could do worse. <sighs> Just a reservist. It's a summer job, but my dad's the chief. I go to Southern Cal the rest of the year. Now, about the complaint. Oh, come in, join the party. You know, me and Ducky, we're going to Southern Cal this fall. Oh, yeah? Uh, no, I, see, I'm on duty. Now, about the complaint. Oh, relax. I want to show you a Ducky. Ducky? That's a Ducky. <laughs> That's a Ducky, the brunette. What are you studying in school? Are you going to be a cop like your daddy? Uh, no, it's just temporary. I'm studying to be a veterinarian. I'm specializing in... Uh, in what? Animal husbandry.
down with the rest of them. Oh, I can't swim. You can't either? I can swim. Oh, man. <laughs> you think I'm a prude too, don't you? Oh, no, I don't. You're just fine. Maybe if you'd, you know, let go a little more now and then and try to enjoy life. But you're going to be just okay. Honest. <laughs> Shoot. If I had your face and figure, honey, I'd never be wearing clothes. <laughs> Thanks, Doreen. Yeah. Paradise Beach. Uh -huh. Probably some kids toast some marshmallows. Cameron, Raynor just picked up a boat heading this way from port. Why? How far? Oh, he's fast, sir. How fast? Real fast. About 15 minutes top, sir. Damn. Okay, Bly, but not this time. I right, quick. Dump. Jettison the cargo. Jettison the cargo. All of it. All of it. As soon as it's over the side, quick trip to sea. So, so wait, can we, can, we, can we just keep a, a kilo? Not even a lid. Quick. Sir. Dump it all! Oh, night long he 
lights. Oh. I knew a girl from Chula Vista. Hey, lady, lady, We did it so much, I got a blister. Oh, hey, lady, lady, I met a guy whose name was Ron. Hey, lady, lady, He liked me to do it with my high heels on. Oh, hey, lady, lady, She made sure all the guys got lucky. Oh, hey, laddie, laddie, <laughs> Give me a Coke and I don't mean cola. Hey, laddie, laddie, lo. Cause I'm the cop with the big pistola. <laughs> hey, laddie, laddie, lo. I am the pizza delivery boy. Hey, laddie, laddie, lo. Eat my salami, it gives me joy. <laughs> hey, hey, laddie, laddie, lo. Go on, muff dive. Sarah. Uncle Carl. What am I going to do with you? I knew a girl from San Francisco. Hey, laddie, laddie, love. She got glad when I used Crisco. Hey, laddie, laddie, love. I'm not angry, surprised, yes. I just didn't think you were the kind of girl to take advantage of a situation like this. I'm sorry, Uncle Carl. It's just not like you. I know, but... Did your friends Cinnamon and Goosey... Ginger and Ducky. Yes, them. All this, it's their doing, isn't it? Not entirely. Well, it doesn't matter. We've got to put a stop to it. Honey, I have neighbors here, a position in the community. I just can't allow this. I'll tell everyone to leave. No. I'm no Scrooge. Let them have fun tonight. But tomorrow, Everyone, including your two friends. Ginger and Ducky. Whatever. Tomorrow they go and you and I have a talk. Yes, Uncle Carl. All right. Come on. Let's see if I have a bed for the night. God, I need a shower. Maybe a sauna. Come on. There goes our whole summer. It's not fair. Yeah. He sure didn't look like an old fuddy-duddy. In fact, he was kind of cute. Really? I bet if he'd gotten to know us, he wouldn't have been so mean. Ducky, that's it! Huh? We get to know Uncle Carl real friendly-like, you know? I think we can change his mind. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me get my bearings. Sir, north is in that direction. Idiot. Oh. Uh, sir, we didn't actually catch Ah, Captain Jack. Ah, Captain Jack. <laughs> we meet again. Oh, you're playing it tough, eh? I admire your spirit, Captain Jack. I can say this for you. You got balls like me. But I don't play with mine all the time. Oh, smart guy, huh? Well, not smart enough, not for old Bly. We got you cold and you're gonna pay. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they lock you away for life for this one. The captain? Yeah. There's a lot of smart guys like you out there. But it takes only one good, clean-living American like me to put an end to you and your filthy trade. Captain. Yeah, you've, you've butted your bread. And now you're gonna sleep in it. Captain. Quiet, Gower. Want to give this sea scum a little piece of my... Little mind? Yeah. There's a lot of weaker men that you can con, but not me. I'm too honest, too clean, too... Slow. What? Slow. His ship is clean. He must have dumped it overboard. What? <laughs> we didn't get here in time. You mean he... <laughs> uh, uh, Eloquent bastard, ain't he? I... 
Get him out of here now. Get him out of here. Mind if I come in? I just wanted to get a little peace and quiet. Yeah, well, me too. I'm Sarah's friend, Ginger. Glad to meet you. I'm Sarah's uncle, Carl Perdue. Glad to meet you. Well, if you'd rather be alone. I've got some things that I... No, that's all right. Sure is hot in here, isn't it? That's the whole idea. Who ever heard of a cold sauna? I hope you don't blame Sarah too much for the partying going on. I mean, it really grew. I guess it's kind of out of hand now. She should know better than to have let it happen. She should have. May I? Mm. There's nothing like cold water when you're really hot. No, there's nothing like it. It feels so good to sweat. How old are you? Hmm? I said, how old are you? Oh, well, I'm older than Sarah. I'm old enough to know better. Isn't that what they say? That's what they'd say about me. Oh, you're not so old. <laughs> you know, it's hot in here. Oh, God, I'm really sweating now. Too hot? Oh, no, I love it. You look upset. Bad day at the office? The worst. Let me give you a back rub. No, please, no, thank you. Thank you. I'm only trying to help. What I need is a drink. Okay, I'll get you one. No, no. Besides, we're all out. I've got just the thing, then. No, thanks. I'm trying to quit. <laughs> These aren't cigarettes. They don't kill you. They let you live, baby. You mean that? You mean those are... Uh, sure. The... Marijuana? Well, well, I'll be. No, I don't mess with that. Hmm. Mm hmm. I thought you were cooler than that. You did, huh? I did. Well, you can't let down the lady, can you? Is it... Sure, loosen yeah. up. All right. There's nothing to get in trouble with in here. All right. Nothing can go wrong. Now take a deep breath. We're going around. Hold it in. Hold it in. Get deeper. That's it. That's it. You done wore him out. Is he dead? We better call the cops. Where's the phone book? You are the cops. No, he's not dead. Yeah. He just fell asleep. And the guy works too hard. I give him a little grass, then he's in dreamland. Help me get him out. I'm gonna try this again tomorrow. Uh-uh. Tomorrow's my turn. Hit the beach of Wamba. You have super that. Hey, you ever push iron? No, I never got into that. Oh, you'd like it if you tried it. I could show you how. Yeah, I'll bet you could. <laughs> and you could teach me how to play the guitar. I could probably show you a few things. 
I've always wanted to learn. <laughs> oh, hey, Sarah. Scott's going to teach me how to play the guitar. Yeah. Hey, you play anything else? Myself sometimes. <laughs> you think I could play something? Uh, don't ever try the accordion. the night in the bathtub because all the beds were full. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's World War III. Oh, God. Hey, wake up, soldier. It's time to face the world. Oh. Seen Ducky? Yeah. Oh. Feels like the army marched through it. We've got to get these people out of here. This place is a zoo. Just a zoo. Don't worry, Sarah. Don't worry. Ducky, huh? open the door. <clears throat> clean this up. God, the water's great. Terrific. I think I'll get Uncle Carl. And I need to work on my tan. Hey, how about a little help around here? Later. Loosen up, sir. Yeah, he'll be here. That's what I'm afraid of. You're tripping on the carpet. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Purdue. I'm what? ready. What the hell is... Who are you? Ducky. No, not how. Who? Ducky. Don't you remember? Last night you promised to take me sailing. I did? Last night? Oh, last night. I don't remember. Don't remember? Aw. After I helped tuck you in and all? Well, maybe I did. You tucked me in? I mean, things are kind of fuzzy. So let's go, you oh. promised. Okay, all right. How about letting me get dressed? Okay. Okay. Come on, outside. All right.
and one and two and reach and three and four and come on, Harlan. Oh, hold on. Did you see that? Hell's Angels! Oh. how people can get seasick. The ocean's so romantic. Up and down, up and down. Don't you think? I never thought about it quite that way. You're not still mad at me and Ginger, are you? No. It's just that I got neighbors and, you know, well... I guess so. It's hot. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, I won't burn. I never do. What are you doing? Sounds better by you. All right, I'll move. Don't bother. There's room for both of us. Oh, I think I'll have to find some other room. <laughs> you old toad. <laughs> I saw everything from the house. Ducky, you could have drowned. Kyle saved me. Oh, Mr. Purdue, you saved my best friend's life. I really don't know how to repay you. I just did what anybody else would have done. No, don't put yourself down like that, Uncle Carl. You're a wonderful guy. Too bad we had to screw things up, partying and everything. Yeah, we didn't know you were against them. I'm not against parties. I give them all the time. Maybe you'll give us a going away party. Jackie, the man wants us out. No party. I wouldn't say that. You mean we can have a party? I meant about moving out. <sighs> oh, Uncle Carl! We love you. Uncle Carl, you're such a doll. What did I say? Carmody, please. Oh, hello, dear. This is Wilhelmina Brinker. Over at Paradise Beach. Uh, by the Purdue place? 
<laughs> Fine. How are you, dear? <laughs> oh, just a friendly call. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, there is something I thought you should be aware of. I saw Carl Perdue this morning with a girl. Oh, well, he sure didn't act like it was his niece. Well, if you're really interested. Wang! Oh, so sorry. It's all right. Just get the limo. The limo? Yes, the limo. Go get it. Wang, stand still! Now, get the rimo. Hey. Hey, look! Ducky, we don't have time to mess around. We gotta collect wood for the bonfire. I need something valuable. Yeah, orange peels and dirty diapers. Well, lock me in a freezer and call me a popsicle. Oh, my God! Yes, sir. That's what our computer printout tells us. Paradise Beach. Yes, sir. By our calculations, taking into consideration the tide, the probable buoyancy of the bags, the position of the sea wolf last night, and the sea currents, we can safely say that somewhere in the area approximating the perimeter... All right already. Oh. Paradise Beach. I want every man to break out in battle here. Jack's gonna try and retrieve his evil cargo tonight, and we're gonna stop him. We're not gonna let the killer weed fall into the innocent hands of our American youth. Is my boat ready? Ship, sir. Ship, whatever. Prepare to cast off. Yes, sir! Tonight in Uncle Carl sprang for it. He and Scott are but Willie's picking up the booze. What are you guys up to? Look what we found. Is it? It isn't. It is. It's just a little weed. Well, maybe not such a little. How about six trash bags full? Six bags full? Like that? Don't be mad. Be glad. Yeah, it's for the party. We're gonna get busted. Oh, come on, Sarah, wake up. It's not the Middle Ages. Just because you don't want to have fun doesn't mean you should spoil it for everyone else. Why is everyone always on my case? I don't mean to be mean, Sarah, but just look at yourself. You don't want to have any fun. You're a 50-year-old teenager. You were kind of hard on her. Maybe.
marijuana. Pass me. <laughs> Who the hell are you? I'm me. Fifty-year-old teenager about to loosen up and enjoy life. That's not you. <laughs> oh, yes it is. I'm gonna find out what I've been missing all this time. Sarah, you haven't been missing anything. Everyone around here seems to think I have been. What everybody else thinks doesn't matter. Sarah, listen. I have been listening. Told me it was great. Well, I have to admit, I haven't slept like that since I was a kid. <laughs> Relax, Uncle Carl. You're so tight. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. Sometimes you win. to incest anyway. Young man, are you popping pills? I sure am. I'm a popper, she's a popper, he's a popper. 
Wouldn't you like to be a pauper too? Amigo, por favor, pick it up. Pick it up yourself, wetback. Try it all over again so I can make up my mind. <laughs> what, Carl, already? <laughs> Carl Perdue! What do you think you're doing? Julie, uh, nothing, dear. You're late, but if you wait a second. Look at you, uh, I'm shocked. For these two little girls, these children. Julie, if you'll just simmer down, you will see that what has happened here has little to do with our relationship. <laughs> I'll say. I've never participated in such debauchery. You lout! Hussies! What's a hussy? Who's loud? Julie. Shut up, you pervert! You child molester! Our engagement is off! <laughs> We're sorry, Uncle Carl. Yeah, Uncle. Is there anything we can do to make it up? Well, screw her. <laughs> Julie. 
Do you have a cigarette? If I got a cigarette. That's what I said. I rolled them myself. What are you, some kind of a cowboy? Hi, Dory. Hey, how are you doing? Hi, guys. How are you? Oh, <laughs> Tastes funny. Must be the salt water. Some of the bags leak. Are you really a uh, policeman? <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? I'm looking at the boats, dear. Oh. That's good, Harlan. You should develop new interests. Captain on the bridge. Captain. My bearings, Gower. In your pocket, sir. No, you idiot. My bearings. Oh, Dewey, sir. Don't get so friendly, Gower. Not on duty. See me after hours. Aha! There they are, the scoundrels. Libertines flaunting their booty. Maybe it's just a party, sir. Or a weenie roast. Weenie roast? Trying to contradict me? I'll show you a weenie roast. <sighs> Tell the armor to break out the cannons. Lower the assault boats. We don't have any assault boats, sir. Damn it, man. Don't you have any American ingenuity? Make do. Yes, sir. <laughs>
Come on, keep moving. I'm going. I'm going, okay? You're going to have to around here. Let's go. Down to the beach. their minds. You kids know what you're doing to yourselves? <laughs> Your body is a temple. Oh, I know. Now you should watch what you put into it. Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> this killer weed. This killer weed has destroyed more lives in typhoid, syphilis, leprosy. <laughs> It rots your brain. You're in the bloom of youth, and you're letting this poison... <laughs> People who indulge in such perverted practices, they grow up to be whores, pimps, killers, actors, politicians. Rome! What? And we're raping! <laughs> and pillaging! <laughs> you put your arm around her, you do the hoochie coo. <laughs> you put your arm around her, you do the hoochie coo. <laughs> Julie Carmody, what do you think you're doing? For now. I certainly will. <laughs> Ladies? What was that all about back there? What do you mean, what was that all about? I felt like it. Why? I know what I want now. What? I want to be just like you. You could do worse. Then we hit Iwo Jima. You were a Marine? <laughs> No, silly. I was a wave. I always wanted to be a Marine. Like Daddy. 
Looks like the liberation of Paris. He's been trying to tell me what to do. Doreen, what happened? Oh, I've been invited. <laughs> Paradise Beach. Okay, once we get there, we go ashore and gather up the stuff. With that shipment and this, I can retire. Captain, it's a trap, sir. What? What? Spit it out. In the cove. Fly ship, the Coast Guard, they're waiting for us, sir. Damn. What are we gonna do, sir? Dump the grass. Head back. Engines full. We gonna pick up a new load, sir? Are you kidding? That's it. I'm out. You're out. I'm going back into politics. Safer, more profit. Set a course for San Clemente. I think I'll take a vacation. It's about time my assistant earned his keep. How would you pretty ladies like to share in that? <laughs> would we? You would. Oh. Fire's dying. Sucky! That's fireworks! I thought it was empty! Oh, no! Oh, Run, you guys! Oh, 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 oh. I surrender. Huh? <laughs> Fight that! Ah! Turn the ship! Turn the ship! Turn the ship! Fight that! Fight that!
God.